so it's Sunday afternoon and I've been drinking massive amounts of thyme and honey tea with the mini um, honey um, glass that my friend gave me came in really handy because I was able to um, put that in my thyme tea <laughs> and I've just been knitting uh, a whole lot my mom has just left about one or two hours ago and uh, we've been been actually knitting together well she was here she has learned how to knit as a child I suppose but hasn't done it in years and so I've just been teaching her again uh, we just went to my yarn shop I mean it's not my yarn shop but the, the yarn shop I work at um, yesterday and we got her some beautiful merino yarn to make a cowl with and I'm just doing some advent knitting, although I'm just putting in a color that hasn't been from one of my advents. This is Tori Di Giralda from um, Olivia and Oliver Fibers. But the other ones, these two, um, the brick red and the beautiful autumnal color, those were from my uh, Swapi advent. The green is actually Brined Park from Sorella. So I got that in my mini um, collection from Flock. But yeah, I have 10 uh, squares now, <laughs> um, which means that I am about a fifth of the way to get a lap rectangle, um, which is the size that I have decided on so far. I usually don't wear my hair like this, so I'm a bit... I don't know. Why have I put it together? Actually, it looks so much nicer if I have it open. Like this. I just wanted to wear my the scrunchie my friend gave me. So yeah, I'm just finishing up my tenth square, going to uh sew in the ends. I wanted to show you and finish up my second Christmas sock. I'm actually um finished with this second sock. This is my first one. And so I have them done in time for Christmas. Those are two things that I would like to get done today. So 10th square of my blanket, Sweet Shop Blanket by Laura Penrose, and my uh, adjusted six-ply Sunday socks. So I just took all the instructions from the Sunday socks by Petite Knit and put my own kind of like, yeah, adjustments to them so I, I did a different uh, stitch gauge stitch count and needle that was recommended in the pattern for an eight ply sock yarn uh, but I have all of these information linked in my Ravelry project page but yeah I'm just cozying up drinking loads of coffee because <coughs> uh, my lung is still hurting and I've been coughing a lot still but yeah um, it's a good thing that I can get some rest and just relax. Tonight, uh, when Hannes comes back from work, like I said, he has uh, sometimes, he works 10 days like in a row. He's in um, like social work and um, how would you say that? Like he works with people, which means, uh, yeah, he has a lot of... Um, responsibility at his work um, and lots of his colleagues have been sick uh, recently and so he's been he's been working a lot I mean he is usually working a lot but recently I've been like how can you work e even more yeah so um, when he comes back from work which hopefully will, won't be too long because he had an early shift today she he should be home by like four o'clock today today's Sunday by the way the second advent I completely like forgot that it was the second advent already and I just put on one candle on my advent wreath this morning and my mom and I didn't even notice the both of us um so we didn't we didn't notice and then I realized and I I put on the second candle mm, but yeah we are probably gonna order some pizza tonight like the two of us probably can't can't be bothered to cook. I've been cooking a bit these last couple of days. It's quite nice because I have fell a bit out of love with cooking, to be quite honest, which I would, would have never thought I would ever, ever say. 
because I loved and still love cooking but yeah recently with just little to no time um, to do so I haven't really been enjoying it and have rather spent my time knitting time knitting which I think lots of you will appreciate and understand which is kind of nice um but yeah we're probably gonna decorate the christmas tree which is such a nice thing to do and i'm looking forward to that and i hope yeah you're enjoying vlogmas so far just finished filming a new podcast episode and I'm just editing it right now. Um, I'm sitting in bed. I'm also watching Knit California's um, Vlogmas videos since I haven't been able to catch up with everyone's um, uploads. I'm just focusing on my watch list today um, and I'm also just gonna grab some pretty late lunch. Uh, my friend who I just spent a little drinking tea and chatting date with, she just came around um, for like an hour. She brought some Christmas cookies, so I had cookies before lunch, um, which was really nice uh, thanks to her. Um, and yeah, I did show you one of the projects that I didn't get any particular work done on which was my traveler crew neck and so i'm just knitting on that while um editing because it's just knits and pearls and so that's nice i don't have to do any in increases or decreases which can be a bit tricky while editing i'm also wearing my traveler's cardigan which i love and yeah let me get on with my editing Hannes made this amazing dinner for me after work and he's already digging in. I have not been filming. I have not been filming anything for the last three days or something. I've just been working. <laughs> um, I've just been working, going to therapy, cooking some dinner, falling asleep and knitting some. And now we got a cheeky 
cheeky dominoes because we, we just couldn't be bothered to, to cook. I forgot my keys at home, so I had to sit outside <laughs> and wait, wait for Hannes to come home. And yeah, it was uh, pretty chaotic. I'm pretty pooped from work, if I'm, if I'm quite honest. And I, I look it. I have to take uh, a shower and wash my hair and... But for now, I just got to eat. Honestly, I am yeah, I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> so I haven't been able to film a lot these last couple of days since um, it has been dark before I went to work. And then it's extremely dark when I come back from work. Um, I'm just preparing some breakfast before going to work again. And then I have a couple of festivities this weekend so in all honesty I'm not really sure what <laughs> I'm supposed to film right now I'm still feeling pretty or I, actually yeah, it's ha it has gotten worse again which is like why am I I mean so many people are sick right now so I don't want to com complain but yeah I don't feel the best um but I wanted to open up my advent from yesterday since I didn't do that <laughs> yesterday because I didn't I didn't get to it super busy period am I right so I'm gonna start with day eight from my scrappy advent from my swappy advent and it's ooh it's a lavender shade looks a bit more purple actually this is number eight from my swappy advent with my friend Lydia Ooh, she's put in a face mask so I can do face masks these couple of days and this I think is the DK Something from Olivia and Oliver Fibers, since I know she, she got this to make some socks for some family members. Um, and this reminds me of that color. I think it's from Olivia and Oliver Fibers, so thanks Lydia. So I gotta get some breakfast in my belly, in my tummy, whatever. Um, I have been feeling a bit bad that I didn't get around to film anything, but honestly, uh, it's just been working and then resting and then working and then resting time recently. And so, yeah, I'll get around to it when I get around to it. This Christmas time is gonna be a bit different. With a new job, I'm working a lot more before and after Christmas and I don't get a, an actual break, which isn't the nicest since like, <laughs> I would really love to just lay around and knit and eat and read between Christmas and New Year's, but that's not really my reality this year and that's okay. Well, okay. <laughs> 